so 1356 of the Multiframe Collective. Today I wanted to talk about, again, something I read in uh, Unreasonable Hospitality, a book by Will Godara. I'm going to figure out how to say his last name because I'm sure I'm mispronouncing it. But uh, another story he tells in the book, which I thought was phenomenal. You see this, well, I'll tell you the story and then I'll tell you where you see it. You also see it. Uh, but they had created in their restaurant a no tag coat retrieval system that was pretty darn cool. And in that, when patrons would come into the restaurant, they would dine. The person who took their coat would would obviously disappear with it. But by the time the meal was done, when the patrons would get up and walk toward the front door, the coats were already ready. They were being held out to put on uh, the customer. So they walk out the door. And it was sort of a, a very impressive wow moment. Like, I remember giving you a tad, you know, kind of in is just another story to tell for the restaurant. And so the way they did it is that when the person walked in the front door, they would take that coat and they would assign it to a hanger that was assigned a table number so that they knew. And then there was this sort of baseball uh, sign, a thing that went on with in the restaurant between servers and maitre d's and, and the person at the front, they would do hand signals that would give them the idea or, or give them a heads up that the people were going to be walking toward the front door in just a few minutes. And then they would put the coats in sort of a holding room and have them ready uh, for when people walked out. So um, I've seen this on airplanes too. It's a little little more manageable on an airplane, right? In if the stewardess takes your coat, she puts it on a hanger that has a number like with your seat number. So she can put it in the closet and then she knows where to bring your coat when, when the flight is about to land. But I was just thinking through that. And is there a multifamily version of this where you can anticipate the need of the resident? You can anticipate the need of a prospect. You can anticipate what is about to happen. I think it's one thing to offer somebody a water when they walk in the front door, but it's quite another thing if somehow you knew that they liked a certain kind of sparkling water before they walk in the front door and you have that there for them to take advantage of or, or to partake in. Uh, that's quite a different experience. So my encouragement to you today is think through moments that you can wow the customer by anticipating the things that you know that they need or they want or they desire uh, and do it in a way that is classy and uh, full of energy and surprise and wow. Take care. We'll talk to you again soon.